Hello students, welcome to this video and in this video we will be uh, discussing MCQs on entrepreneurship subject. Now here we will be focusing on chapter number one and uh, as you all know entrepreneurship is again a foundation subject and here we get 25 marks worth questions. Now question number one, which of the following is not a trait? Now let us read the question correctly. It is not a trait of an entrepreneur. Innovative. Any entrepreneur has to be innovative. So this is not the answer. He has to be visionary. That is, this is not an answer. Determined but patient. This is also not an option. So we are left with Legard. Now who is a Legard? Legard is somebody who is very late to adopt new ideas and new things. So the answer for this question is option C. Right. Let's move on to the second question. Identify the type of entrepreneur. We know uh, if you have studied uh, chapter number one in entrepreneurship, there are 13 to 14 types of different uh, types of entrepreneurs and their characteristic features are discussed. And it is very important for you to know their traits and uh, map it with the right word. And to make it easy, if you have read the chapter at the end in the glossary part, again, all these things are discussed or maybe in the uh, summary of the chapter. So it is very important for you to know the 14 types of entrepreneurs and their traits. So here the question is, an entrepreneur who likes to work on something new or creative, guided by ideals. So here the answer is the idealist. This is the most ideal type of an entrepreneur. He is always looking for something, something which is new and which he can take it forward. The next question is, again, identify the type of entrepreneur. They focus to improve the world. So it's it's there is there is a you know sort of uh, uh, what do you say hint given here. So the type of entrepreneur here is the improver. Next question is what leads a person to strike out on his own and start a business? Being his own boss, this is one of the motivating factors for an entrepreneur. So this goes well with the question. Love what you do. That is again, he strikes out something that he's doing and he will start something on his own. Freedom from routine work. An entrepreneur is expected to do uh, something which is very different each day. So the answer for this is all of the above. Next question. That is question number five. State true or false. Intrapreneurship is a combination of entrepreneurship and management skills. Now, let us first understand who is an intrapreneur. Now, if you can divide this word here, intra is one part and the second part would be the uh, preneurship. So, here intra is within and preneurship is you do something on your own So and within an organization. So, you are doing something on your own within the organization in which you are working. It means that you are an employee of an organization but you think and work and act like an entrepreneur. So this requires both entrepreneurial skills as well as the management skills. So the question is, intrapreneurship is the combination of entrepreneurship and management skills. So it is true. The answer is option A. Next question, that is question number six. The key elements of entrepreneurship are, uh, if you have read the chapter, this comes in the first page itself. So, innovation, risk-taking, vision. So, all these are required to become an entrepreneur. These are the key elements. So, the answer is all of the above. Question number seven. Networking means building groups, creating computer networks, getting connected with people, none of the above. See, both A and B are actually right. Uh, if, if you just take networking as a word, it's all about building groups. It's all about, it may be related to computers also. But here you should understand you are answering questions related to entrepreneurship. So in this context, the answer is getting connected with people. An entrepreneur should have great connections. He should know a lot of people. That's how he'll be able to build, establish and build his business. So the answer for this question would be option C. Question number eight. This type of entrepreneur is read by is is led by uh, uh, charisma and charm and high energy and all that. So the answer for this is superstar. And the moment you think of superstar, all our film heroes come to our mind, and they have a good amount of charisma, charm, and high energy levels and all that. So the answer for this is the superstar. Question number nine. The word, the word entrepreneur has its roots in which of the following language? Uh, entrepreneur again comes from the French word. If you have read the chapter by now, you would have understood that uh, in the first chapter, in the beginning itself, uh, the roots of the word entrepreneur is given and it comes from, the, comes from French. Last question in this series. Dash shows the process of creating something new. 
something new is all about innovation so when somebody decides to do something new there is a process that is to be followed for creating something new and that process is innovation i hope you had uh, good value add through these 10 mcqs uh, if you have any doubts you can please leave your questions in the comment section we will get back to you with right answers thank you so much for your patient hearing